In this video, I will explain electrical resistance. Resistance can be understood simply as the opposition to the flow of current, where current is the movement of charge. In a metallic conductor, the moving charges are electrons. Consider this model, where the electrons are represented by marbles, which flow along the length of a wire demonstrated by the Jenga blocks. Energy is provided by elevating the table, or a battery supplying a voltage to a circuit. When energy is supplied, the electrons flow through the wire. This flow of electrons is current. It took just over six seconds for some number of electrons to pass a point. This is an arbitrary value of time, but it is representative of how much current is flowing, since current is how many electrons pass a point in a certain time. A longer time means a smaller current. Therefore, any resistance to the flow of electrons will decrease the current, demonstrated by an increase in time. The next thing to consider then is what determines the amount of resistance. It can be determined experimentally that resistance is equal to the resistivity times the length, all divided by the area, where resistivity is a material specific value. So according to this equation, increasing either the resistivity or length will increase resistance, whereas increasing the cross-sectional area will decrease resistance. Let's test this. We have increased the wire's resistivity by adding in obstructions, just like a material's lattice structure. The electrons collide with these obstructions, impeding their flow. This time, they took 11 seconds to pass through the wire. We have decreased the current by increasing resistance. Now, let's increase the area of the wire. This only took 3 seconds. The electrons have more room to move. Increasing the length of the wire simply means the electrons will collide with more obstructions. You can see here that the electrons at the back had to pass by two obstructions to reach the end, whereas the electrons at the front flowed through unobstructed. A resistor can be considered to be a wire with a known amount of resistance. Here we have reduced the width of the wire in one spot, representing the presence of a resistor. The electrons took 11 seconds again, and you could see where the flow was restricted at the place of the resistor. 